I'm like, I love everybody. Tell me with the delay. We're here with Dave Monroe and go right, who's now in Chicago as Billy Flynn, but you may know him as the genie. <laughs> oh, James, what's been going on since we spoke five years ago? <laughs> Five years ago, jeez, you made me feel real old because you haven't aged. You look exactly the same, and I am skinny and got gray hair. So thanks, thanks for that, Jesse. Um, <laughs> Jesse doesn't age. Jesse looked the same age since I met him. So uh, what's 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 been going on? Let's see. Um, I've been doing. I did Ham. I've been doing Hamilton, and then I'm free self supreme. And then, uh, then I don't know if you know, but this thing called the pandemic hit, and none of us worked at all. Nothing happened. We were just sitting home watching Netflix and watching shows that shouldn't be famous, but they're famous now. But then, then I see I've done a couple cartoons. Some of them, which I, I, I did Ducktales, which was great. I did, mm -hmm. uh, did the awesome thing of Ducktales, and I did Vampirina, and I did um, Elena of Avalar, and then. Uh, the world opened back up and I have done since September three Broadway shows in the same season. I did Hamilton, Freestyle of Supreme. I'm trying to find the camera. Hamilton, Freestyle of Supreme and Chicago. Uh, so that's that's what I've been doing, really. And also I bought a house. Oh, that's exciting. We, we bought a house in June. And so oh. that's that's what's been happening. So I live in a different part of New Jersey now. So my life has been house husband and actor. That's what's been going on. I've been working steadily. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, where I am, I'm in my closet. This is a st uh, my, my, my kids turned my closet into a studio. So mm -hmm. I have been working steadily too. I will say all through the pandemic, I did nothing but um, podcasts and cartoons. So if you go to- yes, um, I, I've been uh, every two weeks. We've been doing another play. See? I, I, I even did a play in Oregon at 1 a.m. in the morning. Keep up with See? that. So I'm, I'm trying. See, I, pr I produced a, I produced an ongoing, con I produced an online concert for Disney. Well, for me. And um, we raised money for the Actors Fund and the um, Lymphoma Research Foundation. Wow, with Tim great. Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Then I've done a bunch of online concerts. Then for Broadway Podcast Network, I did a show called um, Dracula, yeah. which was fun. Uh, cool. And we also did something called Twits, which cool. is out right now. And we yeah. did something called As the As the Curtain Rises. So I've literally been... Oh, I've also did something called... Um, what's it? Uh, Mr. Delamort. A musical of Mr. Delamort. So I have been working consistently. It's just... In the in this box that I mean, you see me in right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <There's no. laughs> right. So if, if it's if I got earphones and a microphone, I've been working. <laughs> right. Like I said, I've been in so many Zoom yeah. meetings. Countless. It like every two, every two week, but the one in Oregon. Because they were on Oregon time. Yeah. We had to do it at 1 a.m. in the late. morning. It's like, it's late, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was, I felt bad. There was a lady who was one of my, um, I do this cartoon uh, that's coming out. I, I can't really say what it is because I signed an Indian and all kind of stuff. But, um, one person, I was in Ireland filming, uh, dis oh, I, sorry, yeah, I, I did a movie, I did Disenchanted, I guess I should have said that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, you mentioned yeah. so um, I was in Ireland time, uh -huh. California time, and Hawaii time. So we had one lady who was up at four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> another lady who was up like at 6 p.m., and I was like, it was like nine o'clock where I was, and we were all recording. It was so weird, it was like, oh. uh, people were falling asleep, it was great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's really hard to keep up with. Um, wow. One health. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. That would be sexy. One of the second season of 
falling in love with Mr. Delamore? Um, no, because De Mr. Delamore is that—that that was the full musical. That was the full show. Uh, we did it with complete. You know, there's the soundtrack with just the music, yeah. and then there's the show where we, you know, where uh, all of us. Tully Liang, myself, and Lena Hall, uh, Courtney Reed, Courtney Reed, and um, no, she's gonna shoot Jackie Hoffman. Sorry, and uh, yeah, we all we all did that. We um, that was the full show, script and all. So now I guess it's just the demo, and wherever it goes is wherever it goes. You know, I would love to be a part of it if they ever do it live, but that's yeah. it. Yeah, that was that was the full that was the full production. I love that. I. Loved it. I'm so glad. I had a good time. That was really fun. Oh my favorite people were in it. Yeah, yeah. That's, you that's got good. to be in the reunite with Courtney. Right? I love mm -hmm. Jackie. Yeah. Oh. She, she is so hilarious. Yes, that's true. She is great. <laughs> um uh how do you make Billy Flynn yours? What Honestly, is your thing on Billy Flynn? Um, the fun part about Billy Flynn to me is that he believes everything he says. You know, some people play him as like a shyster or someone who could uh, spin the situation. And he does do that. He does spin the situation. But in Billy's mind, everything he's saying is absolutely honest. Everything he is saying. And once I figured that out, it made it easier for me. I was talking to Walter Bobby, who directed the show. I actually got to meet him and sit down and talk to him. And he said, look, Billy is straightforward. There is no gray area. It's just right and wrong. Right, and that's yeah. what Billy does. Wow. And... <laughs> the great thing is, um, this is one of the first times I've been able to, with, with the, on, on stage, I've done it in voiceovers, but I've been able to do a kind of a homage to my dad. My father, when, if the way you heard me speak the other night, when I was in trouble, when I was a kid, that is the voice my father spoke in. He spoke in this voice. He spoke real low. He okay. never, he didn't yell. He didn't see a point of yelling. He would just get real close to your ears and go, now let me tell you something. Do not <laughs> do that again. And I was like, I can use that in the show. That's perfect. So, and the way my dad was, when he was at home, he was just dad. When he was in business, like when he was in the office, the way he walked, the way he talked. And I told my mom, I said, you're going to see a familiarity when you see Billy Flynn because <laughs> I've really just kind of taken what my father used to do. And it's been so much fun. <laughs> Emulate that as best you can, yeah. Yeah, just kind of play right. what he, when I was a kid, what I saw or what I thought I saw is right. how I play Billy. So straightforward, always honest, but a little bit of my pops in there. <laughs> Sprinkled in there. Yeah. yeah. Can, can you tell us a little about Disenchanted? I can tell you a little bit. I can tell you a little bit because they want it to be a surprise when it comes out in Christmas. But okay. uh, for all you Enchanted fans out there, okay. you always wondered what happened uh, to all the characters. Well, the little girl who was uh, Patrick's uh, you know, daughter grew up. She's a teenager now. And so it's all about having to deal with what's it like being, you know, parents to a teenager. And your mom just happens to be a fairy princess. I mean, how do you deal with a mom who can, you know, talk to animals when she wants? You know, how do you <laughs> deal with that? And, you know, and they, it's all, it's a total chaos ensues wonderful music by Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz. And everybody came back. Amy Adams came back. Patrick Dempsey came back. Uh, the only people that, I, Susan Sarandon wasn't back because her character dies at the end, but we have a great yeah. villain in Maya Rudolph. And so it's a lot of fun. And basically it's the adventure of how this family, what happens to them 15 years later and how their lives are changed and how they'll go forward in this new world. And it literally is, it's not a like, it's a, it literally is a direct uh, uh, continuation. So where it, it was 15 years ago since the last movie, that's how long it is in their life. That's, uh, I shouldn't say 15 years, maybe, maybe yeah, I guess because she was real little and now she's a teenager. So it is that moment of seeing her become, you know, a young woman and her mom yeah, having, her yeah. mom having to deal with that. So it's, it's actually, but I will tell you this. It is fun. The music is great. Ireland was beautiful. It's the best backdrop 
And for all you Dis enchanted Disney fans, you will have a ball seeing this movie. Are you can you tell us to. are you a live character or are you a cartoon? I, I am I am a live character. I'm not animated, I'm a live character. Yes. Now you you said you had a big announcement on what next for you. Well, I'm doing, I'm I, not, I didn't say, it was not, not a big announcement. It's just that I'm doing a lot of personal uh, appearances. So I don't, I'm, there's some dates we're working on. So, you know, get your calendars. You may see me at some different places doing concerts and stuff. I'm getting, I'm trying to get my band back together to oh, do cool. some fun stuff. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, so and also, also check the cities. You never know. You might see me on tour with Freestyle Love Supreme because they were, uh, they were on, they're on tour now. And so uh, I could pop up anywhere. Yes, I am. I'm very interested in directing right now. I am talking to um, a few playwrights and a few uh, musicals that I'd, I'd like to uh, maybe put uh, on Broadway. I would love to direct on Broadway. That's my dream, you know, to be like some of my heroes, you know, like Christopher Ashley and like Harold Prince and like, you know, Lloyd Richards and these guys. Lloyd, I, Lloyd Richards is, is awesome. Um, because he directed all of August Wilson's plays and like Harold Prince is great. You know, I got to work with James Lapine. So to see these guys and like Christopher Ashley who directed Memphis me to get to watch these guys work. And then my colleagues, I have dear colleagues like Casey Nicola who did Aladdin and Tommy Kale. And when I see them, I go, I think I want to, I want to do that too. So they know, and they've been there for me. They've, they've really been there and talking to me and like kind of mentoring me and where I'm going. So you know, keep 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 your eyes peeled. You never know something something may show up in the next year or two. <laughs> now I know that it's gonna not be now, but <laughs> will we, will you ever be to You might not be allowed to say. I you know what I I I would I've never said it was a no. I've never said it was a no. Oh, okay. Um, if the right if the right timing happened and the right opportunity, um. I would never say no to going back to Aladdin. I love the genie. The genie's my favorite part that I've ever played on a live stage. And I, I can say that with all honesty. And I had the best time. I, I was able to create on top of a character that I loved so much. And the sure. fact that, you know, my DNA is in the show, it'd be kind of fun to, you know, return. But right now, we have some great genies that are on the show. I I, I know them all. You know, we kind of have like a, you know, a genie crew where we all know each other. And so, you know, if, if Disney ever called, I would definitely answer and we would definitely discuss it. Trust me. I will, I will never say no and never say never. So what next for you? If you have anything. Um, as far as like physically what's happening, um, I don't know. You know, uh, it's one of those things where it's like, my career is like taking a taking a pivot of what I want to do. So I'm kind of concentrating on this directing thing while still performing because my ego won't let me stay away from applause. I, I love I love people screaming, going, you're great. I'm like, yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> so um, that's that's where I'm going right now. But as far as like what I'm going to do for the shows, don't know. And I think COVID kind of taught us it's OK to not know. Yeah. yeah, in a weird way, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. How long yeah, are you totally. in Chicago? Uh, I am in Chicago right now. Um, I can't say because things are changing. There was a date, so we're trying to figure that out. As of right now, I'm just in it. We're trying to figure out what uh, if if um, if they still want to keep me. As of right now, I'm I'm in it for a while, so we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we should know. I hopefully I'll know. Uh, actually, by uh, the end of next week. <laughs> That's not far. Oh, we, we have a comment. Before. Sure. Oh, oops. Uh, I'm so excited for the interview. Such a fan. I like it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see it. Rose Taylor. Hello. Thank you. Hello, Rose. Hello. I am so glad that you're a fan. Thank you so much. That means a lot. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to thank you for doing it again. Sorry. Of course. Yeah, sorry, sorry for your technical for issues the there. Technical difficulties. We're a little stale here. Yeah. Listen, listen. You don't you don't understand. 
Uh, I have. You guys are doing this, and you guys are so professional. I've worked with some people like that do, that do TV, TV, and I was in the studio there waiting, and nothing happened. They were like, "We don't, we don't even know what's happening." I'm like, "We're in the studio. What, what's happening?" So, wow. the fact that we we only had technical difficulties for 15 minutes, we were good. This is great. No, but not no problems at all. Cool. That's good to know. <laughs> That's reassuring. Yeah, I trust you guys are good. <laughs> Very cool, man. Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> Of course, Jesse, anytime, man. You know that. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the episode. See you next week. Also, guys, you guys don't know this, but Jesse's like the coolest dude. We were talking at the show the other day. Jesse can text. I can't text. Jesse can text like Broadway people and they just text him back. He has a th- he has a thread of like Tony winners, like in a thread. Yeah, Tony. I, I, lo- I looked at the people in the thread and I was like, Everybody in this thread has a Tony. And Jesse just goes, hey, what y'all doing? And we go, oh, it's Jesse, we should call back. I was like, what? That's amazing. You crack me up every time. I go through the same thing, man. It's like, oh, my God, I'm texting uh, Kelly. And- right. Yeah, yeah. No, it, was Dan- it, was Dan- it was Danny Bernstein, Kelly, me. And I was like, what is happening? I, was like, I don't have, I don't, like, I don't have this kind of thread in my phone. And Jesse right. does. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm in contact with these people. I was like, what the heck? Exactly. Next time, next yeah. time, next time, has anybody interviewed you, Jesse? Has anybody interviewed you? No. I don't think so. Oh, you know what? That's what we need to do. We need to plan that. We need to plan to interview yeah, Je- I, I'll do it. I, I have no problem. We need to plan to interview Jesse and have Jesse talk about his career. You saw, did you guys notice that he came on? He said, James, what are you guys doing? He goes, Well, I've been busy the entire pandemic. Like, what the-? So we should talk about what you're doing, sir. Yeah, re- literally. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know my big secret. What? Big secret? Yeah, I told you one Tuesday. Oh, on Tuesday. Yeah, you know the big secret. Oh yes, 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 I do, I do, I, yeah. I do. I, I can't, I can't wait for that. I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah. yeah see, see, he, ha- he asked me what I'm doing. I said I don't know. He has already has like stuff happening. It's already planned. Yeah. Oh. I can't keep up either. It's almost all impossible. All that I can <laughs> reveal is I'll be working. With Joe Di Pietro again. Listen, Joe Di Pietro is one of my dearest yes. friends, one of the best writers on Broadway. And the fact that you guys are together, you guys are going to make magic. I can't yeah. wait. It's going to yeah. be so much fun. We already did. Yeah, it's did nice. you want a little of the nice work we did? Oh, yeah. That was. Uh, I kind of just sat back and marveled and went, really? That, okay. You know? <laughs> Yeah, you can look. Some of you have to look at stuff and just go, "Yep, that was good." <laughs> Nothing I can do. But uh, thank you guys for having me on anytime. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to circle back and plan where we can I can interview Jesse so the fans can see that. That'd be fun. Yeah, okay, okay. you got it. We'll work on that. Okay, game. game. Right. Of course. Talk Thanks. to you guys Bye. soon. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye. Take care, man. Have a good one. Ooh. You too. Bye, Thanks. game. <laughs> <laughs>